Hey guys, this is the last of our Boyd Hill series of videos that we're doing this year. So uh, our 2020 graduating class of fifth grade, this is the last one that we're doing. It's the anatomy of the grasshopper. And so we're gonna show you all the little segments of the grasshopper, three specific ones, and then zero in on a lot of his parts, like his palps around his mouth or his antennas. One more time, are grasshoppers scary? Well, apparently my daughter thinks so, but I don't. Uh, other than being poisonous to ingest, so if you ate it, they're poisonous, they have no stinger, they really can't harm you. Their defense mechanism is to spray out this little foam around its abdomen <laughs> that uh, is slightly toxic, but not much to humans. It's very toxic to the little birds and and rodents and small mammals and uh, little reptiles, lizards and things that would try to eat it. It's very poisonous to them. It might even kill them. Uh, and other than the loggerhead shrike, which has learned how to impale it and drain out the poison and then eat it, nothing else really likes to eat those things. So they're fairly safe to be as brightly colored as they are because they don't really need to camouflage that well. Although you'll see that they can camouflage pretty well, uh, making it hard to discover where they're at until you get close or until you see the damage. So I just brought this guy into my backyard and put him on one of the broad leaf plants that he likes to eat. And I'm just showing you that even the black one, not just the one that looks like the leaves themselves, but he can, he can hide pretty well too, surprisingly, until you get close. And as we zoom in, you can see right where he is. But until you do, he's not as easy to spot. One more time, uh, but this is with the adult. You can see that it's uh, not readily easy to see. And I've got him right in the foreground of the plant. Now you might be able to spot this if you've got better eyes than me, but as I zoom in, I think he'll become quite clear to you as to where he's at. This one hides better, the adult hides better on a broadleaf plant. Another really cool thing about the grasshopper's appendages is uh, particularly the lubber grasshopper because he's the lubber aka lazy grasshopper. He won't fly around really and he'll crawl most of the time and sometimes hop with those powerful hind legs. But one of the things that's so cool about him is this one is really kind of standing on vertical leaves and he doesn't have much, much um, area to grip on. As you can see, the wind is blowing around. But if that were you or I, we would slip off and fall to our death because this, for him, he's about 10 times his height up in the air right now. So should he fall, it wouldn't go well for him um, or for you or I if we were 10 times our height and we fell off a building or fell off a roof. But this guy can attach himself from so many different angles because his knees and his ankles, so to speak, where those joints are, they can bend at multiple angles to get him a really good grip, even though the terrain or the leaves that he's standing on aren't real stable. <laughs> Like all insects, the grasshopper has three main segments to its body, its head, its thorax, and its abdomen, along with six legs. Look at the two antenna that are moving around in front of the eyes of the grasshopper coming off his head. They're segmented, and what they do is they sense odor and touch and vibration, just like a snake flicking his tongue. Now let's just take a look at the mouth on this grasshopper. It's fascinating. He has four little palps that are like fingers just outside his mouth, and they pull the leaf to his mouth, almost like your lips would pull food into your mouth. They also can taste it to see if it's poisonous so that he could synthesize the poison and make himself toxic, so he knows what types of plants he wants to eat. Interestingly, he can also chew vertically or horizontally. He can do it either way that he wants because he might be in different positions on the plant and need a different angle on the leaf. Area for being an insect. 
you can see his eyes too his eyes are so cool he's actually got two sets of them one set you can't see real well because it's like a almost like what would look like a little hole next to the black eye and that's just a light receptor a very simple eye but he's got this more compound eye that is very very visible and that's where uh, a lot of his vision comes from so we have an adult here and you can see the segmented abdomen just above the knuckle of my thumb and those hind legs meant for jumping it's cool how the hinge on their knee is exactly opposite ours but it's perfect to propel him into the air on a quick jump he's got six legs because that's uh that indicates that he's an insect that's part of the criteria for being an insect. You can see his wings fairly useless on the lubber grasshopper because they don't use them for much of anything. Um, they mostly just kind of lumber around and hop when they feel like they're in danger. The other two legs that you see on this side, two on the other, the four total, uh, just for walking just just trying to get around or grabbing i can feel him kind of pinching at my hand as he goes because they've got all these little uh spikes and um they're like little grappling hooks on your skin and you can feel them he can grab on with those it helps him uh if he's holding himself vertically on the side of some plant to climb up easily because they just kind of hook in and you can feel him do it and that is not a stinger a lot of kids are worried that that's a stinger uh in a female that's a on the, on the tip there is an ovipositor where they take their eggs and stick them in the ground about three centimeters below the surface so that um, they can make it through the winter and then uh, in the spring hatch. And there'll be all kinds of those little nymphs like the black grasshopper that we saw just a little while ago. All along his abdomen there are spiracles which are little holes in every one of those abdominal segments and he breathes through those. He doesn't really breathe through his mouth. Insects take a lot of oxygen. It's one of the reasons that they're so small is that it takes a ton of oxygen to do all the things that they do. And so in those little segments, and we're trying to get a close up on it, there are little holes uh, along its abdomen and it breathes through those. Oddly enough, uh, with a short horned grasshopper like this, the ears are on the side of its abdomen. He pooped on my fingers. That wasn't very polite. Well, there you have it. The last Boy Hill video of the season. And I just want to say to my fifth graders, I love you all very much. I'll miss you. Sorry that our year ended in a COVID crisis that didn't allow us to be in the same place. But know that you're loved. Know that I miss you. And you can come back and visit anytime. I highly encourage it. So we'll see you. Stupid grasshoppers.